Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Finery from Zentangle. All right. This is a this is a neat one. I'm going to just have this one kind of run off the page, I do believe. So, starts off with you know, a bunch of double lines. And you know, well, say um, you can ha you can have lots of fun with this. I'll say I I'm gonna I'm gonna fill the the tile with it, but you could probably even if you just wanted to do a double or something, you could. I mean, double meaning just going on the on these two sides. But as you know, if you have been following, if you are. You don't even have to be a seasoned tangler to know that uh, you get to do whatever you want with these, right? Okay, so once you have these set up, then we're going to make S shapes. And I'm going to start from here, uh, from the center. And uh, well, you know what? I'm going to start here. And I always have to look. Well, actually, if I have it positioned this way, then I can just do it. So, and also kind of slanting down. So it's like if I go like this and kind of sliding down, sort of, and just continue them. I like I like to do this where I start on one side or in the middle, and then continue on either side. And those are just little partials. Then. So when you do it one direction on the other side, we're going to do it like the mirrored version. And either, well, I'll say either way I slice it, it's awkward because you have to do it backwards. So I just, I look at, okay, which way did I go here? And I think it'll be easier if I, and I'm turning my tile because I want it to be comfortable for my hand. So I'm not goofing up, but I also, I want to start here versus starting here and coming back because this it you know it doesn't really matter if they if they line up or not they don't have to so let me just get another redo this one a little bit there we go and I try <laughs> to do kind of like a takeoff and land idea where I'm tracing over a little bit here swooping down and then tracing back on the line there. But as you can see, sometimes not so successful. You know, you, you just want to leave a bit of a, a gap in between. That gap, of course, is up to you. And I'm just going to leave that as it is. So every other section, you're going to alternate. So then here, it's back to the original. And actually, I'm going to just do a couple of little lines here. Or, I mean, back to like this version. So I'm, I feel like I'm drawing more of a proper S. And then here will be opposite of this. But like I said, just making sure that you're mirroring as you go. Didn't quite have that uh, angled right, um, but that's okay. Oh, let's do this one. So you kind of get this neat, uh, a neat leafy type of look from this one. Then the next step is really just decorating. So, um, and this one is a little bit different than um, some others. So I'm going to start right here in the center and I'm going to go, I'm going to sort of follow the, uh, the direction here and we make a thick line. This is like a thick line dot dot. Uh, well, it's actually line dot 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 and you just go to the end. But this part doesn't have to be real long, but it is, 
you know, it's just thicker. Like I said, I like to have these kind of take a little bit of shape. Um, it also because even even just like the regular line dot dot, it just adds some character. And it's kind of this actually. You know, if I was smart, <laughs> I would have grabbed my. Uh, Well, let's see. Let's see how smart I am. Is it happens if it happens to be right here? Oh, it does. Yes. A, a thicker pen. Oh, look at how nice that is. And then I'm not, you know, scribbling and going over all of these just so that way it's consistent. And then you can just do like this. And just dot the paper. And then it's nice and consistent. We like easy. Easy is good. Now you could come back. So you're like coming out of here just so that way it's nice and solid. And then this direction. Same idea. Well, actually, I'm glad I showed it the other way. Because if you don't happen to have a thicker nib pen, then you kind of have to Work with what you got. And then we'll do some shading. Now, these you see these are kind of coming out of the stem. Here, you wanted to do this consistently here. So the next set, I'm going to start here in this center from... From right here so it's, it kind of just want them to kind of go the same direction that is one of the the other tricks with this I know when we've done I've done this one in a couple projects and you know that's where some people thought they messed up you know in Zentangle there is no such thing as is messing up it's you know if you end up having them go in the a, a different direction it's okay it's all right. But there we go. And then if you <laughs> if you want to, like I'm going to just touch a couple of those up so that way, that's the challenge with using the, the thicker nib, though, is that sometimes if you want it to really blend in, you know, to where it's coming from, like there, you can just touch it up. Okay, now for some shading. And this is kind of neat. Let's see. I'm going to just do, and I actually, in the, uh, I'm going to flip it this way, in my Zenthology, where I got the step out from, from Zentangle, it, uh, it just has you doing the shading on the one, on the one side. So, and actually this would be over here. You could do both sides, but this is really, really neat. And of course, you know, you can have, you know, as much fun as you want to have with the shading. I'm feeling like it needs to have a little bit more. Uh, yeah, and just like that. And it creates a neat ridge. And like, I could do on you know one side of that but I, I think it's kind of neat just you know thinking of this as a like a, a major vein if it was a plant right so it would go here and then here it's alternating really neat really neat but yeah like I said you could go on all of them it's up to you totally up to you all right neat tangle neat tangle if you enjoyed this, and I hope you did, I uh, would love to have you click the like button. Also, feel free to share it. And if you like it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber on the channel. Uh, in the description section, you will find my version of the step out and then a link to for more inspiration and 
there uh, I, I'm just trying to remember because I don't have it I don't have it up in front of me um, okay and I'll tell you the funny story um, so we're doing and maybe you're doing the Inktober Tangles 2022 I thought I did this one a long time ago so what I do is I'm doing a daily tangle and I thought oh we've done this one because it was a long long time ago I used it in a uh, one of the tangle times which is one of the free classes that I do and I thought for sure, and so I didn't. So we, I did um, in the Inktober Tangles 2022. And if you want information on that, uh, if you go to my website, link is in the description section. Uh, I do have a section there in the menu for Inktober Tangles 2022. And if you scroll to the bottom, there's a welcome, and then it has the list um, that we're following. And so I was like, oh, I've already done finery, so I'll do fine go which is a tangulation on this one on finery as well as the tangle uh vertigo and so i thought i was all set today and i'm like oh okay well no i'm not because i couldn't find a picture i couldn't find it i was like and then i looked and i'm like oh i haven't done this one my gosh so so my brain was a little bit off and with and i'm like oh what <laughs> so anyway uh it's just really really funny but anyway if you're following that i think i might just uh, put both of these out there because they did mention both of them on the list. So if you're following the Inktober Tangles 2022, excuse me, I probably said 2020, 2022, um, uh, do make sure to take a look for it. I, I like I said, I, I might uh, just post both of them just because uh, it's it's on the same day and and it's a neat tangulation and you could have some fun looking at it. So I didn't have because of that, I didn't have the screen up or because usually I'll I'll look at it, I'll I'll be playing with it. Um, and then I'll have, you know, the for more inspiration link already set, at least in my head. So I have to go and look and see uh, if that if uh, it might be on a Zentangle newsletter. I will put whatever information I have from Zentangle in that and that um, in that section. So that way you can go and take a look at um, at it from their hands as well as, you know, neat samples. That's why I put it in there for both of those reasons. All right. Thanks for indulging me. All the information is in that description section. Would love to have you join me for classes sometime online. And um, until then, thanks for watching and I wish you happy tangling.